Good day everyone. Today I will teach you all about operations on function. So sa function, pwede natin gamitin yung op apat na operations which is addition for sum, um, subtraction for difference, multiplication for product, and division for quotient. Dito sa mga, uh, mga uh, uh, operation na to is meron tayong mga corresponding na formulas. So to find the sum or f plus g of x, tandaan nyo guys yung f and g pwede natin mapalitan ng kahit anong um, letters yan kasi representation lang naman yan. So, to find the sum or f plus g of x, ang gagamitin nating formula is f of x plus g of x. Ayun. To find the difference naman is or the f minus g of x. Again guys, pwede natin gamitin kahit anong letter na trip natin gamitin dito. So, to find the difference or the f minus g of x, ang, gagawin, ang gagamitin nating formula is if f of x minus g of x. To get the product naman, um, or the f times g of x, ang kailangan natin gawin na formula is f of x times g of x. Sa quotient naman, or sa division, f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. So yung mga nakabox na to guys, ito yung gagamitin nating mga formula para sa pagsagot ng operation ng function. So, ngayon, ay dadako naman tayo sa paghahanap ng sum. So, to find the sum, um, kailangan lang natin i-substitute yung ating given, which is f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 7x, and g of x is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 1, dito sa ating equation na nasa baba, which is f of x plus g of x. So, f of x, ang value niya, isa-substitute lang natin, o ipapalit mo yung value nito at ito. So, 3x squared plus 7x plus, dahil addition to, lagyan natin ng plus, um, and plus yung value ng g of x, which is 2x squared minus x minus 1. So, nasunod natin gagawin is, pagko-combine natin yung similar terms. Ang similar terms ay yung mga terms na parehas sila ng um, variable at parehas sila ng uh, degree or exponent. So dito, ang may parehas na variable at exponent is yung 3x at positive 2x. So pag pinag-combine natin to is magiging 5x and then yung exponent is still as is lang, 2. And then, um, Ano pa? 7x tsaka yung x. Kasi yung x, di ba nga alam niya, meron, meron dito number 1 sa tabi ng x. So, positive 7x minus x is equal to positive 6x. And then, may natitira tayong constant na 1, so copy lang. So, yan yung final answer natin. Um, 5x squared plus 6x minus 1. So, guys, sa difference naman ay gagamitin lang natin ang same given as nung um, sum. So, sa difference, yun din yung gagawin natin. Um, i sa substitute lang natin yung value ng f of x and g of x dito sa equation natin sa uh, difference. So, ang nangyayari dyan is, is equal to 3x squared plus 7x minus this time minus naman yung gagamitin natin because difference nga yung nahanap natin. So, Pagkatapos ng minus, ang palagi natin gagawin is lagyan, maglagay tayo ng open, in, uh, open parenthesis. So, ganyan. Tapos, ilagay na natin itong value ng g of x. 2x squared minus x minus 1. Bakit natin kailangan lagyan ng parenthesis? Kasi magbabago yung sign or i-distribute natin yung sign sa bawat um, uh, term ng ating g of x. So, Mangyari is uh, 3x squared plus 7x. Ngayon, si 2x ay magiging 2x pa rin kasi negative times positive 2x is negative 2x squared. 2x squared pala. 2x squared. 2x squared. Tapos, um, itong negative tapos si negative x is magiging plus x kasi nga negative times negative is positive. And negative plus negative uh, 1, yung constant natin, is 
positive 1 din kasi um, negative 1 uh, negative 1 siya. Negative times negative is positive. So, plus 1. So, same rules kanina. Pagkukombine lang natin yung similar terms. So, 3x uh, squared plus uh, negative 2x squared pagkukombine natin is x squared na lang. Bakit? Kasi 3x squared minus 2x magiging 1x squared. Pero hindi na natin kailangan isulat yung 1 kasi 1 lang naman siya. Ganun pa rin yung value. Then, um, plus uh, plus uh, 8 8x kasi 7x uh, plus x kasi nga may number may 1 dito sa x so magiging 8x tapos copy lang natin itong um, constant which is 1. So, ang sagot is x squared plus 8x plus 1. So, ngayon guys, dumako naman tayo sa pagkahanap ng ating product. So, ang given naman natin this time is f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 and g of x is equal to x minus 4. So, again, substitute the value of f of x and g of x sa ating equation. So, magiging... Um, uh, 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 times um, x minus 4. Itong si 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, nagawa natin sa f of x. So, x, of, uh, x minus 4 is the g of x. So, ang gagawin natin susunod is didistribute natin yung uh, mga terms. So, pag didistribute natin to ang nakalabas na niya ay Ito muna, x times 3x squared. Magiging 3x cubed. Bakit naging 3x cubed? Kasi merong 1 na exponent dito sa x, pero hindi lang natin pinapakita kasi number, 1 lang naman siya. Ganun pa rin naman. And then, x, yung um, exponent kapag tinimes, kailangan ipag-add. So, 3x cubed. And then, minus uh, 2x squared. 2x squared. Paano naging 2x squared? Kasi x times 2x is equal to 2x squared. Naging squared siya kasi nga may 1 dito, may 1 din dito. 1 plus 1, 2. And then, ang next is plus 1x. Kasi nga, x times 1 is 1x. Parang pinag, ano na natin, pinag-combine na natin sila. And then, um, Dito naman tayo sa may negative 4. Uh, negative 4 times 3x squared is negative 12x squared. Negative 12x squared kasi positive, um, negative times positive. So, negative 12x squared um, plus 8, 8x kasi naging 8x siya kasi Negative 4 times negative 2. So, negative times negative, as we all know, positive, positive 8. And then, kopyahin natin yung um, ito. Four, uh, negative 4 times um, positive 1 is negative, still negative 4. Kasi nga, negative times positive is negative. So, ang next natin na gagawin, guys, is the same, um, uh, the same step. Pag-combine lang natin yung sim similar terms. So, uh, napamansin nyo guys, sobrang haba. Kasi nga, distribute natin. Pero, paiklain natin or simplify natin gamit ang pag-combine ng similar terms. So, si 3x is wala naman siyang kaparehas. Kasi nga, siya lang yung mayroon na an, uh, exponent na 3. So, kumpihin lang natin or bring down lang natin sa 3x uh, cube. Um, minus 14 um, x squared. Paano natin nakuha si 14 x squared? Um, kasi, uh, pinag-add lang natin tong negative 2 x squared and neg uh, negative 12 x squared. Yan naging negative 14 x squared. And the next is plus 9 x. Kasi nga, pa uh, positive 1 x and or positive 1 x or positive x lang. Kasi, 
Pwede mo tanggalin itong x. Yan, ganyan. So, positive x and uh, positive 8x is 9x. And then, kopyahin lang natin or bring down lang natin si negative 4 kasi wala naman siya kaparehas and siya yung constant natin. So, ang final answer natin is ito. Um, 3x cubed minus 14x squared plus 9x minus 4. So, ngayon naman uh, guys, dumako tayo sa paghahanap natin ng ating quotient. So, ang same step, um, i ang given natin is f of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10. And g of x is equal to x squared minus 15x plus 50. So, um, same uh, step, i substitute lang natin yung value ng f of x and g of x dito sa ating equation. So, magiging... Uh, x squared minus 7x plus 10 over um, x squared minus 15x plus 50. So, hindi pa ito yung final natin na sagot. Ano yung gagawin natin dito? Mukhang mahirap pero um, kung marunong na kayo mag-factor is madali lang natin itong makukuha. So, Kuya Brian, paano nga ba mag-factoring? Uh, magpa-factoring tayo, ang gagawin natin is mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang number na kapag ang um, pinag-add natin ay magiging negative 7 ng kakalabasan and then kapag pinag-multiply naman, pinag naman natin or pinag-times natin, ang kakalabasan niya ay positive 10. So dito, magagawa tayo ng uh, trial or error. Parang mula natin kung ano yung number na kapag uh, pinag-add natin ay negative 7 and um, kapag pinag-times naman natin ay positive 10. So, um, dito, ang number na nalagay ko is um, negative 2 and negative 5. Kaya try natin kung kaya ito yung kakalabasan. So, negative 2 plus negative 5 is negative 7. Ayan. Tapos, pag pinag-times mo naman ng negative 2 and negative 5, ang kakalabasan ay positive 10 kasi negative times negative is equal to positive. So, sa, sa baba, ganun din. Mag-iisip tayo ng number na kapag pinag-add natin, ang kakalabasan ay negative 15x or 15, negative 15 kapag pinag-times naman natin ay magiging positive 50. So, ang number nilagay ko dito is negative uh, 5 and negative 10. Kasi, negative 5 plus negative 10 is um, negative 15. Um, negative 5 times negative 10 is positive 50. So, ito yung kailangan nating uh, makuha para ma um, ito yung kailangan nating ipag-divide uh, para uh, makuha natin yung final answer doon sa uh, quotient na kanina. So, yun, na nahanap na natin yung uh, factor ng x squared minus 7x plus 10 over x squared minus 15x plus 50. Ang factor nila is x minus 2 and x minus 5. Sa baba naman is x minus 5 and x plus 10. Ang susunod natin, ang susunod na natin gagawin is kakansel natin yung um, magkaparehas. So, dito... Yung magkaparehas is x minus 5 and x minus 5. Ika-cancel lang natin. So, which leaves us sa ating final answer na x minus 2 over x minus 10. So, ito yung final answer natin dito sa um, quotient at sa given na binigay na uh, dito. So ngayon, ang pag-uusapan naman natin is about evaluation ng function. So evaluation ng function is basically, uh, meron tayong input and then yung input, yung given in input natin is isa-substitute lang natin sa mga variable o sa mga letters or in this case, sa, e, sa mga x na ating given. Um, first, ang ating given is f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Find f of 5. So yung uh, input natin is f of 5. Ang gagawin lang natin dito is lahat ng nakikita nating x dito sa ating given, papalitan lang natin siya ng 5. Ganoon lang siya kadali. So, first of all, write muna natin yung given. f 
of x is equal to 3x plus 2. So, hanapin natin yung input kapag nilagay natin, ay, hanapin natin yung um, output kapag nilagay natin ng input na 5. So, f of, kasi nga x, palitan natin ng 5. Kasi yung variable sa mga letters is nagre-represent lang ng number. So, is equal to 3, then may x, pag magkaligit, times, times 5 plus 2. So, f of 5, is equal to 15, kasi nga pinagtensya natin yung 3 times 5, plus 2. And then, f of 5 is equal to 17. So, yung uh, input natin is 5, and then yung output natin, or yung uh, sagot natin is uh, 17. So, finally, we're going to talk about composition of functions. So, composition of function is basically like this. So, one function will be the composition for another function, or of another function. Now, we've got two functions here, f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2, and g of x is equal to negative 2x. So, we're uh, designated to find f composed of g. It is read as f composed of g, and not f degrees g. Now, f composed of g means that g of x, or the function g of x, will be the composition of, f, of our function f of x. Or, we're going to replace uh, the value of g of x to all the x's that we see in this uh, uh, first function, which is f of x. So, f composed of g is equal to f of g of x. So, f of g of x. We're going to replace all the x's that we see in f of x of the value of g of x, uh, x which, e, which is 2x. So, if we're going to write this, um, f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2 now, we're going to replace all the x's that we see here in the f of x function with the value of the g of x function. Now, now f composed first x replace negative 2x is equal to second x that we see replace again uh, negative 2x then copy squared minus 6x. 6, then the third x that we see, negative 2x, negative 2x, and then the constant which is positive 2. So now that we got this equation, um, we're going to simplify this. So f of negative 2x is equal to um, negative 2x squared means negative 2x squared times negative 2x squared. And as you all know, negative times negative is positive. So, the answer will be positive 4x squared minus negative 6, uh, no, no, uh, plus, I'm sorry, plus 12x because negative uh, 6x times negative 2x squared um, is positive. So, because negative times negative is positive. So, uh, positive 12x plus 2. So, the final answer is this. It's that simple, right? This is your teacher, Brian, and uh, thank you for watching.